Hello and welcome to another tutorial by QuickSite.com. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to back up a database. Now this is probably going to be the most important tutorial I've done and probably will ever do and I really can't harp enough on backing up your database. It is the quickest most inexpensive insurance policy you can have against disaster on your site. Um, believe it or not there are tons of people in the world who literally have nothing better to do with their time other than to try and hack your site. Um, these people are truly the icon of worthlessness but nonetheless they'll uh, they'll make you pay for their activities and uh, you would never want to get caught um, without a backup. Now what a backup does for you is it takes a snapshot of the unique content of your database or of your website. So for example, um, you know, these tutorials are geared around Joomla 1.5. Basically there's two sides of the fence. There are the files and there are the database. The files are common. You can go to Joomla.org and get those. Um, the only exception is if you've got custom graphics or pictures or extra folders that you've added or extra media or content like media, like a video or um, any file such as a picture or something like that, um, you'll want to have a copy of that folder um, with those specific media items in it. Otherwise, uh, when you create an article, when you create a contact, if a user signs up, the date that user signed up, the last time that user logged in, all these automated things, all these dynamic pieces of information are stored in your database and um, so you know imagine that you had a site with a thousand users okay well that's a thousand different unique pieces of information that if you were to lose your site or someone were to hack into it or some other disaster were to occur there's really no way to go and replicate all the statistics the user login dates the usernames the password it would be a gigantic mess I mean you can see that easily um, otherwise there is a way to take a snapshot of that information and these are the steps that you're going to want to take after you've made some change or you know even if you did this on a daily basis again I can't harp on this enough um, because like I said you can suffer a total disaster total system crash but if you have a copy of your database you can literally be back up and running in about 15 minutes so um, basically to copy or cre get a copy of your database uh, log into your cPanel and you want to scroll down near the bottom under the database section and you're going to see data or yeah database with MySQL databases the uh, database wizard remote MySQL but the one that you're going to be interested in is the PHP my admin and go ahead and click on that now this uh, may seem foreign to you and kind of complicated and to be honest with you if you've never dealt with it it kind of is um, but basically what this does is it's going to give a list of all the databases that you have under this hosting account. And as you can see, I've got quite a few here. Um, and in this database, you can click the one that you're interested in. It's going to have and show you all the tables. Okay? So tables exist within databases, and then all the databases exist in that list that we saw on the prior screen. Um, you have the option, of course, to back up any specific table you want. Um, but we're not wanting to do that. We're wanting to back up the whole database. So you'll know you're dug into the database if you can see the list of tables that occupy it. And you're simply going to want to go to the top here and click the export button. Alright. And when you do this, uh, you've got several options on how to export it. Um, if you're not sure, just leave it alone. Um, the default is, is good enough to, to get you going again. Uh, SQL, you want to make sure that's the case. And really, all you're going to do is you're going to click that save file, put a check mark there, and click go. And when you do that, this pop up box is going to appear and it's going to ask you to open the file or save the file. And you're simply going to save the file somewhere on your machine that you know about, and that is going to be a safe location. And then once you save it, you're done and uh, again like I said I cannot harp on it enough <laughs> so um, I would recommend you save it in several places not only would you save it in a folder on your desktop or your machine um, but you would also want to save it in a folder on probably an external hard drive just in case 
uh, you you suffered an issue with your uh, with your local local machine. Now, how to restore your site? That's a different tutorial. That's kind of outside the scope of this one. But the bottom line is, if you've got a copy of that database backup. Um, really anybody that kind of knows what they're doing will be able to help you out. It's a pretty common task. Um, I'll probably do another tutorial later on on how to recover from a crash if you have or from a database issue. Um, but basically that's how you make a backup and again that is going to be your cheapest uh, most effective insurance policy against any disaster whether it be a mistake you make or if somebody hacks into your site or someone that you've given your password to all of a sudden decides they hate you and then wants to just mess everything up even if you've got thousands of users again you can uh, you can restore it all but of course keep in mind and quite obviously you can only restore it back up or restore it up to the last backup that you have so um, again, I recommend people take a daily backup. Again, it might be a little bit of a chore for you, but uh, it is nowhere near compared to the chore of having to replicate or recreate a large, complicated, and dynamic site. So that's kind of my harping on backing up databases. Um, again, you know, you can be up within 15 minutes, and it uh, it can really help can really save your rear if you've uh, been hacked into or, or someone's been malicious. So uh, take it to heart. Can't harp on it enough. This will save you. I've suffered crashes and been able to restore all my sites, like I've said, literally within 15 minutes and saved myself, you know, in, in some cases my business because uh, had I not had those backups, I would have lost some critical information that would have just uh, made the wheel not spin anymore. So. Take it to heart. Hope this tutorial helped. That concludes it. Thanks.